All right, great success moment here. Got some three-dimensional pathfinding working for the AI. Um, it kind of, let's see, turn on the pathfinding uh, view here. It was kind of working before, but there was just a few little um, glitches. It just, he didn't work. Uh, the AI wouldn't, wouldn't be able to cross over these stairs right here. And you can see now that he's um, pathfinding all around those stairs and it works quite well. So, um, this was one of those uh, challenging programming situations where it just, there was a few, a few issues and it was like almost working. Let's look at some of the issues here. Like he would sometimes just like, uh, um, let's step through this. So boom, at this tick right here, he starts to pathfind and the pink dots represent places he cannot step to because it's too much of a Z change. So he can't step up or down that. And you can tell there's some pink dots going down the to down to the left here. And um, those should be green. He should be able to walk down these stairs right there. And he can walk up the stairs, but let's see what happens when we play this video. He gets stuck and he can't quite step up there. So those are multiple issues. Um, and let's see what's happening in this one here. That was the same kind of thing. A lot of it had to do with the step height. Um, and let's look at some of the code. Like, oh, let's actually look at this um, view of my commit. Basically, here we go. Here's some of the fixes. I had to change the element size that it was checking. This is this is the tick path function. It's basically going through the AI's path and deciding if each point in the path has already been achieved. Like if we've gotten to that point already, then throw that that part of the path away. And that's what you can see in that those videos where he was trying to run up against the the wall and he was thinking he could step up that high. Basically, I had to set the right step height for the block size when we're checking that movement there. So when we actually set it to the move system's maximum step height, and then also using less than um, versus, versus less than or equal to, that also seemed to help. Um, so I kept that. And then also there was another bit here where it was, um, it was not handling the AI's ending path correctly. So if there was one point left in the path, it wouldn't, it was never able to remove that point. And now I've got some code that basically decides if it's less than that, if we've got more than one path point, then we can erase everything up to that point. Otherwise we just clear the whole path. And that actually fixed it so that he can uh, keep on pathfinding even at that very last uh, point that he needs to get to. This was some other stuff I was working on. This doesn't really have to do with um, pathfinding. Um, should have been a different commit. But anyways, uh, this also was also pretty important. The When it was pathfinding, it was actually checking. I thought by adding 0.5 to the positions X, um, that's in grid coordinates, that it would uh, be able to, that, that would center the point in the middle of the tile or the middle of the entity or whatever we're talking about there. But actually it needed to be zero. So that was actually a big thing. Um, setting the points so they were exactly right and that was all made possible by setting the project setting the two the three-dimensional position of all the debug sprites rather than the two-dimensional position I was before I was using the the parent node and um, a two-dimensional position and that just basically wasn't accurately showing me the debug dots those those dots that we were talking about are like all these Little t little green squares and also the de debug diamonds. Those are all now perfectly 3D. So even if the camera rotates, that will be accurate, and that helped a lot to help the whole debugging process. But basically, that that revealed what was going on there in AI system, or sorry, collision system, um, with this whole 0.5 issue. Um, and then this was also really important. So when I this is the pathfind is open thing. It's basically checking, um, it takes a certain position in grid coordinates and adds a direction. Like, so we, so let's say we start at grid coordinate 10, 10, and we're going to the east, that would add one to the X. So we're going from 10, 10 
to 1110 um, if we were going east there. Um, so this this had to all kind of be reworked so that it can check the Z um, if the entity doesn't have the no gravity flag. So basically if they're locked, if it's an entity that is affected by gravity, then you check the distance between this point and the point before, or no, from, from this point in the direction that it were moving. And if that is too much of a step height, then we then this is not an open point in the pathfinding. So before it was just choosing the collision system to check a box at the new position and determine whether that is open. Then uh, if it's open, then that then this point in the path is open. But here we're actually checking the Z delta too. So that was also a big part of it, uh, getting the whole three dimensional pathfinding to actually work correctly um, and then there this is kind of a tiny change but basically when we're uh, when we're cleaning up the path at the very end um, if it's the very first point if it's from it's the starting position then we use the player's actual exact position rather than using the uh, the snapped grid position you could say so a lot of little tiny things that finally all kind of coalesced into a successful moment where the AI can actually move over the stairs, which was just glorious when it actually happened. Love those pro programming moments when um, when that kind of stuff happens, when you're banging your head against the wall all day and then finally everything works. That is just, that's awesome. That, that happened today with this whole pathfinding. So there he goes, moving his way across these somewhat complex stairs this is kind of a smart thing for an AI to do so I'm proud I'm proud of you AI good job AI